welcome to the seventh episode of the Sycamore Band Podcast. Is this really the seventh one? It is the seventh podcast. I mean, unless, of course, you count all the takes that we have deleted. Well, I don't know. We don't think we can count that high. <laughs> That's true. Well, I think our podcast, Mr. Baylor, were a big hit. I've heard nothing but, uh, well, actually, no, now that I think about it, no one said they liked them. They just said they heard them. <laughs> well, this, this is really true, and, and you know, uh, it's hard to say if they liked them or not, but, hey, they were listening at least. Well, we thought we'd take this opportunity to uh, kind of recap the last day since we didn't do a podcast while we were down there, and then look forward to what we've got in the future. Well, we're going to be busy. You know, our last day started with a fabulous breakfast at Planet Hollywood and seeing all that neat memorabilia from the rock and roll things and running around that place. That was great. Yeah, and of course, the little contest we had, I'm not over yet the way you cheated. Well, well it was just good planning. It was all pre-planning. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Well, we did do that, and then we got our, uh, our biannual, I guess, picture in front of the Planet Hollywood with a semi. Yeah, that's going to be cool. We'll hopefully get that up to everybody and get it on the website soon. Uh, we left there, went over to the Magic Kingdom, which I think, for the most part, is everybody's favorite park, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's just incredible. I, one of my favorite things, when we were walking down the main street there, Magic Kingdom, I saw five little girls, probably about five or six years old, all dressed up in their fairy costumes with their hair. And it was just amazing to see how they react when they see the, the Disney characters. Almost as big a smile as us. Well, the amazing thing about all those kids dressed up as their favorite princesses and stuff, they were the clarinet section of our band. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, we did have a really good time. I love the Philhar Magic. I think that's my favorite thing in any Disney park. Just unbelievable, the 3D. But, um, of course, we were on that day, we did what we went down there for, which was the parade. And I thought they, I thought the kids did, did a great job. Yeah, they sounded really good. And it just, you know, it's what an incredible experience going down Main Street with those thousands and thousands of people around there. And, of course, once again, the Disney people were so impressed on how, how well our, our students got dressed quickly, got dressed and orderly, and just got lined up and, and did a great show. Well, we could probably talk about this for the next two hours, but I know there were some great memories made. But I do want to put a plug in for uh, all the all the students and the parents that went on the trip who have not already given me pictures. Obviously, if everybody gives me everything they took, it would take me days to go through all that. So what I would like is if anybody that wants their pictures represented in, in the slideshow, just bring in five to ten pictures of their best pictures. Um, and, and then I take those, and then we're going to give everybody who went on the trip a copy of the DVD. Right, and that will probably be coming out at the end of the year, just so you know. All right. So uh, anything else you want to say about Disney? No, just I want to thank all the, the students, especially the chaperones, for doing such a great job, the students cooperating with us. And, you know, I, we, I think we told you you'd have a great time if you worked with us. I think you worked with us, and I think you had a great time. Yeah, they especially liked that bus ride back, everyone you know, expressed to me. Well, that's my favorite part, and and of course the gourmet lunch that we had in that beautiful setting at and, Levi Jackson State Park, and the facilities that oh, we got to use was second to none. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, so that's all over with, and of course we have a whopping what four days now to rest before the next big event, our craft show, our second biggest fundraiser of the year. And as as we spoke in class today, I need every student and parent to please log in at sbob.org and you need to log in and register on working this weekend either by bringing baked goods every student needs to sign up for at least one working session this weekend and we really need your help and it's pretty amazing how easy it is whenever we logged in and you you see everything there all the jobs that are there when you click on them it tells you what the job entails so it's it just couldn't be much easier right and again you know you can work for two or three sessions four or five whatever but we really need you to to volunteer and again we need as many people to bake even if we ask for 100 bakers you know 125 would even be better but we really need to have at least 100 people commit to doing that all right and uh, of course it's a fundraiser that's one of the main reasons we do it but it is a concert as well so we like to get everybody out to hear the hear the students play right and and basically all the students need to uh, arrive about a half hour before they perform up into the band room we'll get warmed up and we'll get our, our dressed appropriately, which is kind of a dark bottom shirt and tie, be dressed up for everybody. So we're looking forward to those performances. All right, why well, I, I think that about does it for me. Anything you want to add? I think we're great. And it's time for Go, Go in. In.